So, you have just concluded a production cycle of your chickens and you would like to disinfect the whole chicken house. In this video, we are going to see these two salts which have been used by farmers to disinfect and we are going to test their efficacy. How strong are they in order to control the bacteria, the molds, the yeast and the pH of the floor of your chicken house. This salt are sodium bisulfate and sodium chloride and you're going to review this scientific report on the efficacy of sodium bisulfate or sodium chloride for reducing broiler house floor micro microbes population so we are going to get into this video and i hope that you're going to see which is the best salt to use in order to kill all the bacteria and all this yeast all these microorganisms in your chicken house to ensure that there's no passage there's no continuation of diseases to the new frog and if you're new to this channel my name is dominic i do make such kind of videos i do review scientific reports and if you enjoy this kind of videos please press that thumbs up for me thank you so much let's get into this video so First of all, you should know that what is usually used to, to kill all the microbes is the chlorine, iodine and tetranary ammonia which are not that effective when there is litter always, when there is organic matter and soil. So what we have to do is that we have to remove all the litter so that you can, so that you can disinfect and for that to happen now we'll use the sodium bisulfate and the sodium chloride because there are claims that either of this is the best so we have to find out which of this is the best so they they had several they had two chicken house so they had to test which one is which one is going to kill the microbes so and you're going to review this kind of data and later on i'm going to give my recommendation so Let's check into the results and every test was done twice to be sure. There was test one, that is trial one and trial two. And as you can see here on this table, this is the trial one. And this on this trial one, we can see that we have salt, which is used at 68 kilograms by a thousand feet. And also that can be 93 meters squared and also we have the the sodium bisulfate which was used at 45 and sodium bisulfate at 68 so after this trial one they found out that the sodium bisulfate which was 68 kilograms was the one which is which was most most effective and and, and now on the trial two they did not use the sodium bisulfate with 40 with 45 that now they wanted to test now the 68 of sodium chloride and sodium bisulfate and also they found out that also the sodium bisulfate was the best and this salt that i'm saying here is that the farmer's scoop fine lock salt yeah you should note that yeah so we'll just check now that was the bacteria test so we have seen that bacteria tests have reduced in the sodium bisulfate which was at 68 kilograms per 93 square meters so let us check the the yeast test and for the yeast we, we can also see that also for the bias sodium bisulfate which, which was put at 68 kilograms per 93 square meters also reduced significantly and we can see how how it was before and after 24 hours and after 72 hours so on the trial 2 again they used now the salt and now the sodium bisulfate at 68 and also on that one it reduced so we are trying to see so i think now we have a clear view on each one between the salt and sodium bisulfate sodium chloride and bi sodium bisulfate which one is the best and so far if you like this video please subscribe to this channel and yeah subscribe to this channel i'll continue making this this kind of topics 
yeah and also now now here we want to check on the population of modes and we are going to check on the trial one and trial two so the population of modes was was 3.26 on average and we can also see again that the one which 68 reduced after 24 hours this is the highest and and again it started to grow but but it is the one which was highly effective by salt 68 kilograms per 93 square meters and on try two they, they removed the 45 45 kilograms now they had 62 68 to now they had 68 kilograms and 68 kilograms for salt and sodium bisulfate also again the sodium bisulfate performed well that now that is there we have seen the bacteria test and the mold test and the yeast test so let us check the ph on the surface after the these two salts were applied on the floor and we can see again there's a high there's the highest decrease when sodium bisulfate at 63 kilograms per 93 meters squared which performed even much better compared now to the rest and now on trial 2 we can also see that there was a significant reduced or change in ph when sodium bisulfate at 68 kilograms per 93 square meters when it was used so what is the recommendation that i have that this research paper has you can see you can see that the first one it salt application on the, on the pottery house floor had no effect on the population of total aerobic bacteria and mold showing limited to no impact on yeast so sodium chloride was not that effective as this statement is telling us now the second one sodium bisulfate applied on pottery house for significantly reduce the surface ph population of total aerobic bacteria yeast population and mold so we can say that this this sodium bisulfate is the best compared now to sodium chloride and again now this that recommendation is that salt showed limited effect on reducing staphylococcus species presence while sodium bisulfate eliminated staphylococcus species by 72 hours because now this staphylococcus, staphylococcus species will cause diseases so when you use sodium bisulfate it reduces the chances of the new frog which will come to the chicken house being transferred or being affected by this staphylococcus species now at the fourth one now the fourth recommendation is that sodium bisulfate applied at 45 and 65 kilograms per 93 meter squared or 100 to 150 pounds per 100 squared feet proved effective for reducing microbial population on the on on a commercial broiler house following little removal while salt applied at 63 uh, at 65 per 93 square meters that is 150 pounds per 1000 square feet so limited to no effect so as we have seen on this research the sodium bisulfate was the one which was most effective on all cases to remove the the molds the yeast change in surface ph and remove the bacteria so i would recommend if you want to to clean up all your surface you can apply this now after you have cleaned the chicken house and before now you bring in the new litter. You can apply this so that all the microbes can be killed by this sodium bisulfate. And if you don't know that I launched my organic farming course and you can check it out now on my new website. So, and, the, and, for, and for those who are continuing supporting this mission of sharing farmers scientific reports and explain to them in the simplest way possible please thank you so much for doing that and i hope that i'll continue making this kind of videos to educate you guys so see you on the next one